Hello, my name is Hemingway Jones, and I make videos about fountain pens, inks, journals, and journaling for curious people. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm delighted to share with you a new fountain pen release from Estherbrook. This is the Estherbrook Esty Raven. Let's take a look. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. This harkens the arrival of the Raven in Edgar Allan Poe's 1845 poem called The Raven. Well, this also harkens the arrival of the Raven fountain pen by Estherbrook. This is a gorgeous SD. So this pen body is made out of black acrylic, very light in the hand. You almost feel like it should be metal, but it's not. And I actually prefer that it's not, but it has a very warm feeling. And I think this is one of the first things that's going to leap out at you when you hold this pen in your hand. It's the feel of it. It's light. It has a slightly, I don't want to say rough surface, it's just textured and just beautiful and it feels very warm. It's also beautiful in matte black and quite a departure from what you would expect from Estherbrook because normally Estherbrook is known for these bright, vibrant colors that just leap out at you. And this one is so subdued and so cool and so edgy. I just love the way that it plays with different tones of black. So the pen closed has that tactile matte black finish with just the glossy shiny black clip shining like obsidian for emphasis. It's just beautiful as it plays on the light. As you unscrew this pen, it reveals the beautiful Yovo nib done also in a glossy black the color of a bat's wing or a raven now it does pose a certain limitation on the pen you can't get a custom grind from estherbrook on this one just to preserve that black finish but the black finish is gorgeous of course it features the estherbrook logo prominently and there are some shiny rings right about where the threads are so absolutely executed beautifully. So the nib sizes available are extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. They're all fantastic nibs, so it might be hard to choose. This pen has an extra fine nib, which is different for me, but I am really getting into it. I'm amazed at how smooth and free-flowing this nib is. I was always hesitant to order extra fine nibs, assuming that they wouldn't be as smooth as my beloved stubs and medium nibs. But this one is as smooth. It just draws a much fainter line. So this is probably the third or fourth extra fine I've ever had, and I'm enjoying it. As you unscrew this pen, see that this one is a converter fill it also comes in a piston fill which would have been interesting they sent me this pen with the converter fill but it's absolutely perfect for me because converters are nice if you have an issue you can swap them out for a different converter and not have to worry about sending it off to be fixed somewhere the converter is basic, but it works. It's nice. It's branded with Estherbrook's name and it works well enough. It's not what I would consider a high end converter, but it gets the job done. The converter does make filling it from a bottle a breeze. And I chose Platinum Chow Cordo for this one because I just wanted to emphasize that absolute black with this pen and it would be tough not to match the ink to the pen and i'm just really curious about the absolute blackness of this ink and i was not disappointed it's easy to fill wonderful to write with 
So the experience of writing with this pen is very smooth, very slick. And I'm really enjoying the more filigree approach to letters. And I'm finding myself drawing with this pen quite a bit. So once again, I talk about this quite a bit on this channel, how if you go outside of your comfort zone and you try different things, it's almost like opening a door to a different library. And this one is the extra fine nib. Now I'm wondering what are all the possibilities of an extra fine nib that I've been missing all these years. And with this one, it's making me a little bit more precise, a little bit more thoughtful with my handwriting, but also it's very fun and very quick and I'm able to write smaller. So I'm enjoying that and I'm enjoying sketching with it. So that bit is a whole new world to me. In writing with it, I am impressed with just how absolutely smooth this nib is, how effective it is as a writer. I've been using it for about the past three or four days, and it's been my main pen in that time, and I've been enjoying it and sort of taking it around to various places as I film. It's absolutely brilliant. So I do recommend the pen. It also comes in a piston fill. I'd be curious to see what that one is like. It's really exciting to me that Estrabrook is doing piston-filled fountain pens. I'm sure I'll get my hands on it sooner or later. When I do, I will let you know how that pen is as well. So let's talk about pricing and value. So the basic version with the cartridge and converter retails for $225 and it's an extra $50 for the piston fill at $275. So if you're someone who's very curious about what that piston fill is like, you might want to invest a bit more. This is another SD pen. So if you have an Estrabrook SD, then you will be very familiar with what this pen is like. The dimensions are perfect for your hands. It has great balance. You can post it or not as you see fit. It's a fantastic writer. It is a Yovo nib pen, so you have to make that calculation whether or not you need another pen with a Yovo nib. My recommendation would be if you don't already have an SD, this is a fantastic way to get into it. I'm wondering who the person is that is attracted to a matte black pen. I think it's someone who has a very modern sense of style. This fits in with some really glossy sort of mid-century architecture. Very sleek and really lovely and monochrome, which is fantastic. It also has a certain goth feeling to it. So if you're someone who likes really dark and romantic things, if you're into dark academia, in fact, you might see this on one future list of dark academic pens, then this pen is fantastic for that as well. Or if you find yourself in mid-October and you're into the Halloween spirit, it's a great pen for that. It's also seamless in the business world and they're just fantastic to use and a delight to your eye. And they just feel, I hate to use the word because it's sort of reductive, but they just feel cool. They're just cool pens because they're black and they're mysterious. And I really love this pen. So I'll say for me on a final word about value for 225, a pen that sort of opens doors for you, that inspires you, that has you drawing when you weren't drawing, trying a different style of nib that you didn't try. It's just, you can't put a price on that kind of inspiration. And I have no idea where I'll go next from using this. So maybe part of my suggestion is that if you do try this pen, Try it in a different nib that you don't usually get. If you're a wide nib person, go extra fine. If you like extra fine, go to the 1.1 stub. Have a little fun with it. See if it opens a door for you. I absolutely love this pen and it's quickly becoming one of my favorites and I'm surprised. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about an extra fine, but I am enjoying every second with this pen.
I want to thank Estherbrook for sending me this pen. Thank you very much. I can keep it. I don't have to hand it back, and I really appreciate it. So, what do you think of the Estherbrook SD Raven Matte Black Fountain Pen? Is this a fountain pen that you're thinking of adding to your collection? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've watched to this point, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you along this journey with us. We go to some amazing places. And if you want to support this channel further, membership is available. Come on behind the scenes, see blooper reels and other bonuses, Zoom meetings. We do a lot of fun stuff behind the scenes. I'd love to see you there. So I release new videos every week and I have a live show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I promise we will see each other again further up the road. So take care.